everybody it's me Megs and I'm here to show you guys this kind of winter ashy blonde wig that I have been wearing on Instagram that you guys been asking me about and it is by uni wigs and I am absolutely loving this wig for the winter like it's the perfect winter blonde but for first speak Megan <laughs> first and foremost I always wear my wig caps I put on two because my hair wasn't braided the best so I just wanted a nice kind of <laughs> you know smooth foundation but I did later on braid my hair really really nice and neat to make sure it lays nice and flat and this wig is really really beautiful I love the coloring I wasn't expecting it to be this bright when I got it but I absolutely like it it's something different for me especially for for the winter months I really don't go light in the winter so this was a little cute little change and this wig is actually a full lace wig as you can see here there's lace all the way around and it doesn't have any wig combs or adjustable straps so it's just kind of like you put this on your head and it's just there but you can apply um, elastic band to the ear tabs which I will do later but um I was a little scared because I was like, oh my goodness, I don't know what to do without an adjustable strap. So I did wash and condition the wig. So this is my first time kind of like really trying it on, making sure that everything is all good before I cut the lace off. That's what I always do when I have a new wig. I try it on first before I, you know, manipulate into it even more. So I did cut the lace off and the hairline is actually a little boxy. But since I'm wearing a middle part, I didn't really worry about, you know, tweezing into the hairline too much. But since it's lace all the way around, you can pull it up into a ponytail and it can be parted anywhere. Just have to kind of like manipulate and tweeze into the hairline to make it look more natural. But no one's going to see that. So I just kind of left it alone. But in the future, I can, you know, um, tweeze into that to make it look more natural. So I decided that I'm going to flat iron the wig. I want a kind of sleek, you know, middle part look. And this is how the hair dried after I conditioned it. It's really, really soft. When I got it out the box, it was so soft. And it became even more soft after I flat ironed it. I used my Care Care Silk and Seal to flat iron Um uh, the hair and I use my KQC flat iron expert on 410 degrees and use the chase method and it came out like this and I'm going to use my favorite you know um what is this called hairspray <laughs> to you know manipulate into the hair to make sure those flyaways don't poke out because I did have a lot of flyaways with this wig um I did spray my comb here with some uh what is this called <laughs> hairspray girl and to make sure that it has a nice sleek look to get rid of any flyaways this hair is absolutely amazing it felt so soft but I did notice quite a bit of flyaways so that's how I tame those flyaways and the color is beautiful too and it has this kind of like two-tone look and I really love that it's not a harsh two-tone um, the hair is kind of like this brown and it goes into these highlighted colors and the top of this wig is great the density is 150 so it looks really really natural and it doesn't have a bulky kind of top area like some of my other wigs have um, I did have to manipulate into the parting so I did tweeze the parting to make sure that looks more natural and to conceal it I'm gonna use just some of my foundation which is Smashbox uh, studio skin foundation and I'm just going to dab a little bit of that on to my hand and just use you know a concealer brush to make sure it you know it looks more natural so I'm just gonna dab 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 that into there just a little bit and just conceal that I just personally like using my foundation because in pictures it doesn't show up like bright and crazy looking and putting this in the part makes it look more natural instead of like a Grand Canyon you know how like concealers can make your part look I don't want to look like chalk <laughs> So um, to conceal even more, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I'm going to use the brow powder in Ebony just to kind of conceal the lace even more. And I really like that I can pull this wig all the way forward 
because it looks so natural the lace is so nice on this wig it's not thick at all like you know some wigs the lace is super thick and I like that I can pull some of my wispy uh, baby hairs um, to the front of this wig and you can't detect where the lace wig stops and where my hairline begins so I really really like this wig and how natural it looks like I said before the color is absolutely amazing and it looks really nice with my skin tone the highlights on that side are really really nice and fine but on the other side they're a bit chunky for my liking but it still works it's still cute I like it but I would prefer them to be a little bit you know finer as far as width goes and the back is um, could I guess it's the way I combed it, but the back I feel like it have could have a little bit more highlights. Um, the length is 16 inches. I'm only 4'11", so this was the perfect length for me. Uh, it's really, really beautiful. Really, really lightweight, too. It's not a heavy wig at all. Really nice and airy. So, this color is perfect. And the wig did come with two wig caps that I didn't use. And it did come with these kind of like color swatches if you want to customize a wig through the company. So that's what that came with and I did get a brush with the wig and it's really really nice brush I just love this this wig is so shiny so beautiful So yeah, that is about it. Don't forget to check out the description below if you want to check out uni wigs yourself I do have a coupon code and some additional savings if you're interested in checking out Uni wigs for yourself because you don't want to miss out on those savings So check the description below and as always thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later